Welcome to the Electronics Basics series. Make sure you subscribe and click the bell icon to get notifications. I'm doing a video every day. So make sure you come back again tomorrow. So today's video, oh. so in today's video, I'm gonna talk about a subject which has been mentioned to me by another YouTuber, Simple Electronics. He had an issue with a video he did where he was demonstrating that something blew up. And he had some comments from people which didn't actually understand how electronics work. And he had more than one of these comments about the way that his power supply was too big for the equipment he's trying to power, and that's what blew that equipment up. Well, they were actually wrong. And so I'm going to do a video about this because it's actually an interesting concept. Now, what the belief was is that the power supply that was running this particular piece of equipment, I think it was a buck converter he's trying to run. Yeah, he's trying to power a buck converter which is mated at one amp, and there was no load on that buck converter, so it's consuming microamps or milliamps even, hardly anything at all. That's what buck converters normally do. Their quiescent current is usually very low, maybe 20 milliamps at worst case, right, for these sorts of things. I could probably demonstrate that, actually. He had these buck converters, and when he came to his power supply, which is rated at five amps, they blew up. And he was getting comments saying that it blew up because his power supply is too powerful. Well, that's not right. The simple principle here is that a power supply provides voltage and current, but the current is only as much as the device draws from the power supply. So the voltage is sourced by the power supply, the current is drawn by the device, up to the limit of what the power supply can provide. You got that? So here I have my power supply set at five volts, half an amp, as you can see. You may see this cable going off up here. Up here I have a DC electronic load. I want to change camera view, so I'm going to have a look at that. So over here you can see this DC electronic load is not currently turned on. We're delivering it with 5 volts on the power supply, okay? So this is the power supply voltage is 5 volts. The current limiting was set at 500 milliamps. The current limit on this is currently set at 2 amps. So what we're going to do is turn this down. I'm going to go just 100 milliamps, okay? Now this will prove that 500 milliamps is not greater than 100 milliamps. So load on, and there we go. We're drawing 99.5 milliamps. Power supply is still good, no issues. If I go to the power supply and I actually increase the current, and I'm going to wind the current up to oh, 4 amps, that sounds good, doesn't it? Let's do 4 amps. This is still only drawing 99 milliamps, despite me making the power supply 8 times more powerful. You understand the concept? So the voltage is sourced, the current is drawn. This current is what this device is set to draw, which is 100 milliamps. If I come over here, if I want 500 milliamps, there we go. I haven't changed the power supply, current has changed. I can go up a bit more, there you go. One amp, it's drawing one amp. Now what will happen, when I get to the maximum limit of the power supply, which is four amps, this will start to collapse. So we're trying to draw five amps, now it's collapsed because the power supply is set to limit of four amps. And here you go, this is where we've reached the power supply limit. Not the load limit or the, or the device limit. The power supply is limited to four amps, and so it's limiting the four amps, and therefore the voltage is collapsing to limit at that four amps, even though I've got this set of five. So I'm showing you both ways. Turn it back off, and it's recovered. So if you have a power supply which is much larger than your load, it doesn't matter as long as the load is matched for voltage. Voltage is a critical thing for the power supply, okay? Your power supply has got the correct voltage for the device you're powering and sufficient current for the device you're powering, you will be good. The power supply will not blow up your device unless you have a big inrush current or something like that, which is potentially slightly different. It's a bit more involved. I might talk about that later on in a separate video. In fact, I have talked about inrush currents in a separate video. Check out my playlists. I think it's my projects or something like that. I did actually do a video on inrush currents. So I do actually have one in my playlist somewhere on my channel. So look for inrush current. It'll explain a lot more about it. But for general usage, if your device is drawing less power, as in less amps, then your power supply can generate, you don't have a problem. Having a power supply which is much bigger than your load or your device, as long as the voltage is okay, that will not blow up your device. And conversely, if you try and draw too much power out of a power supply which can't provide it, which I did here when I tried to draw five amps with the power supply set to four amps, which is obviously five doesn't go into four, so it limits the, by the power supply, or the max the power supply can limit, and it collapses the voltage, which also didn't damage the device. And if you're gonna say something like, oh, because the voltage is different. Okay, let's crank the voltage up. 
Let's do 25 volts. There you go. 25 volts. The power supply is still set to limit to 4 amps. 4 amps. No different. And if I drop this current down to say 1 amp, don't forget the power supply is still set to 4 amps. Turn the load on. 1 amp. 25 volts. Doesn't matter. To completely rule this out, completely, here is a 3 amp rated buck converter. I've got hook leads on here. You can just follow the wires around if you want, if you don't believe me. All right, hook wires run around. I've got them joined onto these. Which then run straight to the power supply. Okay, here's all the wire. There's nothing funny going on. So I'm just using clip leads onto the inputs of this buck converter. There's no load on this buck converter. There's no, nothing on it. Which is exactly the same thing that Dan did at Sample Electronics. The issue he had. I've got a set of 12 volts, 1 amp, which is below the rating of this initially. Just to power it up initially to show you. So I'll turn the power on. It's drawing 7 milliamps creating current. That's how much power this is drawing. 7 milliamps. Let's increase the current. 5 amps. All right, so this can now provide 5 amps into this, which is, can handle 3 amps. Hasn't blown up. Turn the power off. Turn it back on. Still drawing 7 milliamps. And that 7 milliamps will be running the LED use there. <laughs> okay. It's still not good enough. Right. There you go. Let's do 30 volts. Put 30 volts in. Same thing again. Power it up. Now it's drawing 5 milliamps because the voltage is higher. You've got that. IV curve thing which is a relational aspect between voltage and current so therefore the higher the voltage the lower the current will be right that's the way that works still hasn't blown up so it's 5 amps 30 volts hasn't blown up so okay you must say oh no it's because your voltage is, is too high okay we're going to 5 volts okay 5 volts I'm not sure what this is set to so it may not work too well actually I might go slightly higher just in case it's not set that high we can actually measure the output as well if we want um, so there you go, that's 8 volts, now the current's gone up, because I was saying before, the lower the voltage, the higher the current will be, and the higher the voltage, the lower the current will be. That's just the way it works. Ohm's Law, look it up if you don't know what that is. I've also done a video on Ohm's Law, so check that out. So I'll turn the power off. Turn the power back on again. Still hasn't blown up. So click like if you like the video. Subscribe if you haven't been here before, and click the bell icon maybe too. This playlist here for the beginning of the series, make sure you watch that, because... If you weren't sure about this, then you probably want to watch that series. Here's a playlist YouTube thinks you should watch. Here's a subscribe link in case you haven't done it despite me pestering you. Here's a Patreon support link if you think I deserve a donation. Catch you later. Oh, there's also a super thanks down there too if you want to do a one-off donation. Bye.